。好，哇、wow, ，OK， 呃，各位观众朋友，大家晚安。呃、uh, ，Good evening. Um, if this is first time you tune in to my channel, my name is Tim Chen. Uh, I'm a homeschool dad, but I'm also uh a, a very uh active in uh international education in Taiwan. So if you can bear, and uh, tonight I'm very excited that we have uh, uh, two distinguished guests to my program and uh, which we're going to be talking about a very unique uh, offering by the Ministry of Education in Taiwan, which allow international students uh, to attend public high school using IB International Baccalaureate and at a high school level called uh, a Diploma Program, IPDP. And uh, to join uh, me to uh, talk about this tonight are two teachers from Taoyuan, uh, Daoyuan International High School. So let's welcome our guest. And uh, so the guest number one is uh, Qing Yu who yes. is the I, 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 IBDP coordinator. And Qing Yu, please say hi to our guest. Introduce hi. yourself. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I'm Qing Yu Tsai, and you can also call me Joanna. I'm from Darien International Senior High School. And actually, I'm also the IB coordinator uh, actually, my school is still uh, a candidate of school. Yeah, but we still work work for the IB program for almost one and a half years. Yeah, uh, but I'm a geography teacher, so I try to speak English. I hope I can communicate in English fluently. So I'm happy to be here to share our experience with you. And we're going to have our international class uh, from September this year. Yeah, so I'd like to inter to let you know what's our curriculum structure and uh, our guide about how, how to our admission guide, how to recruit international students. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I want to uh, I want to thank Xing Yu for coming to the program tonight. It was a very very short notice. Uh, I only <laughs> told her less than twenty four hours ago. Yeah. I'm going to put her. Uh, on air uh, with you guys, and uh, she was very brave uh, or <laughs> foolish enough <laughs> to accept the challenge uh, okay. to come to the program and to talk about uh, this uh, new program uh, that offer at the Taoyuan uh, Daoyuan International High School that yes. is for uh, international students in Tai Taiwan. So. Uh, Ching Yu, first of all, uh, thank you very much for coming. And later on, we also have another guest, uh, but maybe I should introduce her first, and then we can decide who is going to answer the questions from now on. Okay. So that <laughs> Ching Yu may feel a bit more comfortable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the, the next guest I have is uh, Karin. Yes. And Karin Hi. Chen, and that all. Please uh, say hi to uh, to our guest and introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Karin, um, and I work in Daoyuan International Senior High School. I've worked there for nine years, and I'm an English teacher. And today, I'm very happy and excited to be here to share with you some of my experiences um, in applying for the IB program and about the new class in the coming semester. And I think, um, well, I'll try my best to answer the questions if possible. And um, thank you. Thank you uh, for giving me this chance to be here. You're thank welcome. You. And it's a pleasure to have you uh, uh, in our program tonight. And mm -hmm. uh, Anderson Karin is, uh, is also from uh, overseas. And uh, you're originally from Macau. Yeah. And, uh, teaching in high school in Taipei, uh, sorry, Taoyuan. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, this is a very international uh, program and a very international faculty and mm -hmm. a very international uh, class. So uh, let me bring 
both guests in here and let's see if we can squeeze everybody. Yeah, I'm so first of all, everybody's going to ask the question. Mm -hmm. What is Da Yuan uh, International High School? Taoyuan Da Yuan International High School. For those of us who are not familiar uh, with mm -hmm. anything outside Taipei City, uh, mm -hmm. can one of you explain to us where it is and uh, what is this high school about? So maybe uh, uh, Yu uh, yeah. <laughs> answer that. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would like to let you know our school is very young. Uh, we just, uh, this is our 10th year. So we, we started from the 2009. And uh, we are in Taoyuan, but we are really close um, near the HSR, Taoyuan Station. So mm -hmm. it's very convenient for us to communicate from Taipei, between Taipei and Taoyuan or between Xinzhou and Taoyuan. And uh, why do we get international in our school title? Because we offer the second foreign language program uh, in 2009. I think uh, at that time, that was very unique. So the Ministry of Education gave us the international school in our school title. So mm -hmm. that's that's the, the story about our school's names. But because uh, I have already told uh, geography since 2009. So during these 10 years, a lot of people argue, why can we be called international school? Uh, we, were all, we always answer because we have a second foreign language program. But uh, I think most of students or most of parents or even teachers disagree with um, the answer. Because if we want to teach international education, uh, a lot of systems need to be changed. Mm -hmm. So from last year, our head of school, uh, Mr. Ju, uh, we can call it Julian, uh, started to apply the IB program. Mm -hmm. So he think uh, if we can have the IB program, our curricular structure will be recognized globally. Our student who receive, uh, who passed the IB program can get a diploma and be, uh, be recognized globally and can attend the university all over the world. And then we can be recognized international school, school uh, officially. So mm -hmm. that's why we struck, uh, we, we strive for to build up this program. Uh, I, that's why I want to introduce our school uh, above these things. Uh, so that's why we uh, just, I don't want to let you know why we want to introduce our program at that moment. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. for, for those of us who just joined the, uh, uh, the, the, our, our, our program tonight, and uh, mm -hmm. we are talking to uh, Taoyuan Dayuan International High School uh, and uh, uh, two teachers from there, and uh, Qing Yu and uh, Karin. Uh, and uh, oh, I, actually, I have only one name here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and uh, so, and, and we're talking about where the school is and why it's doing the IB. And for those of us uh, who just joined and who is not familiar with geography in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and I brought up the Google map so you can see. Uh, it's very close to the airport. It's right next to the airport and yes. right next to the Taoyuan uh, uh, high-speed rail station that uh, HSR stands for. And, uh, mm. um, and also the Taoyuan metro line, which is also yeah. very close. So yeah. Uh, yeah, right. so if you would like, you know, if, if you try to kind of uh, venture a bit outside of the comfort of Taipei Basin, then there are many interesting things to be discovered. And as a good geography teacher, Qing Yun would tell you. <laughs> so you need to venture outside and, uh, and get, some, uh, get some different perspective. So I guess the first question would be, uh, so what, now we understand why you are doing uh, this uh, IB program in Taoyuan because your school name has got international Mm -hmm. retaining it but it was yes. actually not international program yet so you want to do that yes it's a very mm -hmm. young school it's only 10 years old 
But what makes this particular international program we're talking about tonight interesting is that it specifically target towards international students, not Taiwanese students. Why? Oh, you mean why Why the international why, students? Yeah, why international students? Because you are a public high school in Taiwan and mm -hmm. you admit uh, mainly the Taiwanese students, but do you have any international students at the school at the moment? Okay, I would like to answer your last question first. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we do have foreign exchange students right now because mm -hmm. uh, uh, many exchange students from Rotary would choose up school to do the exchange program. So since 2009, we always have some, maybe one or two, uh, the maximum is seven foreign exchange students uh, would be staying in our school for almost one year to do the exchange program. But we still need to follow the uh, the public curriculum. So we cannot provide the um, no more classes for these exchange students. So I think it is another reason if we can offer DPP program, we actually we can accept the students from all over the world to attend the DP program and they he or she can come back, go back to their countries to follow their their schooling. Yes. Okay. And I want to answer the first your first questions. Why do we have international schools from this September? Because um, because we are public school, so actually we are not allowed to recruit uh, non Taiwanese students. We are the only student we can recruit is ta uh, Taiwanese students, but our government, uh, especially the Department of Technology. Uh, they hope uh, we can offer a better environment for professional, especially the technique profess, uh, professionals, to be to come to our uh, to come to Taiwan to give us the work, the bam power to support our IT. So they think. If we can provide international education program for those professional professionals children, that would be a benefit or there would be um I guess a motivation to recruit these professionals to come to Tai come to Taiwan. So we are appointed to have this program to recruit international students. Uh, but at first, we are very nervous and we are worried about that. But we think if we want to have our DP program and we can have students from different cultural background, that would be wonderful and they would be excited for our students. They can learn different culture or learn cross-cultural communication from their from their classmates. So I think that's a good opportunity for us. So that's why we say yes to the mystery of our education, say yes, okay, let's try this program. Uh, but this program just for international students, uh, the international pro professionals who are waiting to come to, come to Taiwan to invest or to be hired. Uh, we only just take care of this people's children. I, I hope I, I answer your questions. Yes, that was very clear. Thank you very much, uh, Ching Yun. It's, uh, uh, you explained very well, and it is part of the government effort to, uh, to, to recruit and to attract uh, overseas talents. And, uh, and we want to offer uh, not just a good environment uh, to work in Taiwan, also a very safe environment. Yeah. Taiwan is one of the safest countries in the world right now with COVID-19. Uh, we have very few cases of uh, COVID-19, so it's very safe to come to Taiwan. And also we want to offer the best education there is and also in public schools so that you can attend uh, public schools in Taiwan, but to do it in the international IB program. Uh, without breaking arms and legs. And I would like to show everybody 
a website and which is the uh, uh, the overseas the 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 uh, the government the, uh, what uh, Qing was talking about. Uh, so the Ministry of Education has uh, put together this uh, website uh, called the Overseas Talents and uh, and and then you can. You can access it by uh, typing I, uh, ibst.org.tw. I'll put the link in our chat and also in in the uh, later. And I'm, I want to thank Ministry of Education to update this website uh, very quickly because I complained a little bit about the layout yesterday, and they did it right away today. So. As you can see, our government is very efficient in fixing things. So as we can see, Taoyuan is this green area here. Uh, it does not reflect the fact that it's DPP controlled. I mean, it's just green. And uh, so if you click in Taoyuan, you'll see all the schools that offers international program to international uh, uh, students. So you see it from grade one to six, you got Taoyuan American School and the uh, Wenhua Elementary School. And also in the middle school age is Taoyuan American School. And in the high school here, you see Taoyuan International Senior High School. That's what we're talking about today. So from here, you will be able to find out more about what each programs are and what they do. And you can just click through it. And here's a website and the phone number. And you dial this number, it will take you straight either to Qingyun or Karin, and then they will be able to help you. And so it's very, uh, all the information are in one place and it's very good. So at this point, I want to bring our guests back in here again. And uh, and let's talk about the uh, the program itself. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll pass this to Karin, um, since she's been sitting there. <laughs> uh, a long time. When you ever get called, <laughs> as a good teacher, I'll call on students who do not speak. <laughs> so, tell us about the program. I know you are going to be the home class teacher for the incoming international class, and uh, tell us about what your expectations are and what do you plan to do for them uh, in September when they started. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not starting IB DP. They are starting something called pre IB. Okay. Uh, why is that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, actually, the uh, IB DP is a two-year program, but um, in the tradi traditional sense, uh, high school in Taiwan means three years. So, uh, for the first year, we're going to help students prepare for being an IB student in the next year. So um, generally speaking, in the coming semester, we are going to have one international class and we are going to experiment some of our ideas um, on the curriculum design. We will we'll try to incorporate the spirit of the IB guide, uh, written in the IB guide, and uh, we'll focus, um, most mainly focus on the development of skills. And uh, we also will also provide some additional courses that are exclusive to the IB program, like uh, the so-called uh, theory of knowledge, um, the creativity action uh, service. And the last one is uh, the EE, extended essay. These three courses are the core, um, the core in IB program. And we're going to give the students a little bit idea of what these course are about. And to prepare them for the future courses. And I think uh, what we're working hard at the moment is that we try to change our mindset because um, uh, previously, I mean, before I, know about, before I knew of IB, maybe I'm just a teacher who is very teacher-centered and I, I, taught, I taught in the classroom in a very traditional way. And, but IB gave me a new insight to what education is and how I can really cultivate students' abilities instead of cramming them with knowledge. So um, I think 
we all trying to do that and together because it's very important for all the IB teachers to work together um, to design a cross-discipline curriculum. Yeah. And right. yes. Thank you. And uh, you are you are watching uh, today's program. Uh, it's about a, a brand new international uh, class, which is offered to international students in Taiwan mm -hmm. at a public school called Taoyuan Dayuan International Senior High School. And uh, so you will be able to, if you are a foreign national in Taiwan, and uh, and you and then at the high school age and you will be able to join the program and starting at the grade 10 which is what people in in taiwan start senior high school mm -hmm. first with a pre-ib yeah. course and uh, and today i'm joined by two teachers from uh the the Dayuan high school so earlier we're talking about one the first year before the ib started you're going to prepare them for the ib and why is it so important to prepare students for IB? I mean, what's so special about that? What's it different to what they may be doing before? Well, um, I think I'll answer this question first. And if uh, Ching Yu want to say something, she can say uh, she, she can talk about it later, perhaps. Um, actually, to tell the truth, um, the IB program shares some common traits with our new national curriculum. They, well, maybe by coincidence or <laughs> on purpose. No, it's by it's, design because I, I'm yeah. part of the committee. Who deal with it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> the, their spirit. They, in they have, in Chinese, it's called <laughs> 英雄所见略同. So all the great yeah, heroes. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. Great yeah. think alike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I think it's um, a really good direction. I mean, we're heading um, to a very good uh, direction, which means we do we stop focusing on uh, purely academic knowledge. Rather, we try to um, cultivate their thinking skills and develop a lot of skills covered in, in the IB program and in the national curriculum. So um, I think this is the challenge a very big challenge i mean for all the teachers in taiwan yes. and uh, what is unique to ib is that um, the requirements or the assessment uh, policies in the ib programs are very strict and very um how to say very clear and you have no way to escape you have to do it step by step because it is not something you can achieve in one day overnight. It's impossible. Yes. So we have to um, take care of the whole process. We we can witness the growth of the students during the process and we keep records of everything. We help them to reflect on each step and then they can grow from there. So I think it's, it's something really good and um, very special. Uh, what I like about the uh, national curriculum is that they, they they actually they share the common um, yeah we focus on the competence competences in the uh, national curriculum, uh, but I think IB the assessment part of IB push everything to the limits. I mean everything uh, everything we cover in class, every task, every uh, assignment we give the students. Give it. Uh, we give to the students actually correspond to uh, the IB curriculum uh, and correspond back to the assessment. So they will feel motivated and they will feel everything is so focused and they have a purpose in it. So um, I think this is something very special about the IB program. And um, it's almost like De developing students and cultivate them to become a researcher in a way and they need to learn a lot of skills to achieve that goal yeah that's what i think thank you i want to thank uh, karine to uh, to acknowledge the hard work uh, that we yeah. put into developing the national curriculum and uh, on behalf of all the teachers and who have spent <laughs> countless, eight, countless number of being down and then you know the lunch boxes <laughs> over the, the meetings and so I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, that you appreciate what we we did and uh, but 
And also, I want to take it uh, the, to the next question is that uh, because Da Yunhai right now is still in the process of being mm -hmm. accredited by the IBO, yeah. which is the International Baccalaureate Organizations. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us, uh, Qingyu, can you tell us a little bit about the process now? Because parents may be worried that if they join the program now, and uh, what happens if the school doesn't get the accreditation, will they still get a diploma when they graduate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to say one more point uh, to correspond to Karine. Uh, why do we set up pre-IB? Because uh, if students uh, find out they are not suitable for IB, uh, after the 10th grade, they can transfer from IB to the normal curriculum. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why we set up uh, pre-IB. And uh, I would like to answer you, if we cannot get authorized by the IBO, I hope it didn't, <laughs> it would <will> not happen. <laughs> yeah, but it, if it really did happen, yeah, we still can follow, uh, follow the, uh, the our new curriculum. So that's not a big problem because uh, there are a lot of common places between IB and our new curriculum. And now I want to answer you our phases. Uh, last year, we started to apply the IBO, which we started to apply to IBO to become the DB school. And uh, I think it is the 7th May, we get a candidate. So we are still be a candidate school, but uh, I'm very happy we are all, almost get a first milestone. We're going to go through our consultant visit at the end of July. So after the consultant visit, we can know are we qualified to apply to be authorization. And in our plan, I we, we plan to get authorized at the end of this year. Uh, I think most of the things are getting ready. So we if we get authorized at the end of this year or the, at the the beginning of the next year, we still can have a lot of time to recruit our DP students. So we are going to be a really DP school next summer. That's our plan. So I think um, it will happen. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all, Xin Yun. I, mean, I, I visited your school and I met with the some of your very young, energetic, and talented instructors, and uh, and and I, I've seen the facility, and I was very impressed. Uh, not with the beautiful architecture, which is a, a brand new building, only ten years old, but also with the enthusiasm and the can-do spirit uh, from the, the instructors as well, because a lot of people has doubt about whether it's doable to have an IB mm -hmm. school that has uh, no dedicated uh, uh, international uh, faculty member, but only uh, Taiwanese uh, and also uh, Macau. And uh, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> IB, there are no Caucasians in the program. But uh, uh, no, I, I, I mean, I, I think they are, I mean, all of them are very, very qualified and the, the staff I met, they all have master's degree in their field, whether it's science, arts, uh, uh, literature, uh, etc. cetera. And, uh, and I think most important, they're all very hardworking. You know, they studied, they, they went to, uh, and, and they, they went online courses and uh, they spent a lot of time preparing themselves for this challenge. So at this point, uh, I would like to, open, well, actually, I've been waiting for question to come in, but nobody has written <laughs> well, should have planted the teachers to write. <laughs> and uh, this is a bit embarrassing that nobody has <laughs> so we've been doing this for 20 seconds, and still no one is asking. <laughs> Okay, no, we'll, we'll, we'll continue if you thought of anything uh, just write it there and uh, 
right in the comment area of YouTube or Facebook, uh, we'll be able to see it and we'll be happy to answer your question. So now, and uh, for those who just join us, uh, I'm Tim Chen. I'm talking to the uh, teachers from uh, Taoyuan Dayuan International High School and uh, about their brand new IB program, which is for international students only. So uh, you're able to join this program in September this year and uh, with the one year pre-IB courses, which prepare you for the IB and also if it turns out that IB is not your cup of tea, and uh, then you can decide to continue with the with the regular high school program in Taiwan and receive a, a high school diploma mm -hmm. here, Daoyuan High School. And uh, so, so we we go. Oh, we I think we have one question coming. Maybe just want to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a very important question. Thank you, uh, uh, Wei Mei. He, she asked, he or she asked, uh, uh, this is just a one year thing or it's going to be continued? It's a very good question because we have <laughs> the last two years of the IB program. And we have the last two years of the IB program. And we have the last two in the national high school in Taipei, lasted only exactly one year. So, yes. so I think. Two years, I think. To you would, would like to answer this question. Are we going to still see you next year this time? Or am I going to shoot myself in my foot and say, ah. Okay, I, I hope the program will continue. And I I actually I have content the program will be will, will continue. Um but the point is we can really recruit students international students so as we make efforts to find where is our possible students so we have already informed all the company or all, all the department uh, i mean i mean the the education educational bureau and right now actually we find out um international uh, classes in Junior High School in Taipei. I think the name is Chen Zhen Senior uh, Chen Zhen Junior High School. Actually, they have nine to fifteen students. They are all of them are international students. So if they choose to stay in Taiwan, actually, they if they want to attend a public school, I think our school will be their best choice. So we are striving to let them to come come into our school. So if we can have enough students i think the program will continue forever maybe <laughs> yes and well, the next forever. year we will have <laughs> yeah i mean next it's year we will recruit students. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no 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 we, we need to have our budget and actually i want to say because our program uh all our teachers are taiwanese teachers so we don't need to worry about the uh, foreign teachers uh I maybe we sometimes some some school will worry about their foreign teacher will go will leave Taiwan, but we don't need to worry about that because all of our teachers are Taiwanese teachers. Just one or two are from overseas, so I think our program is quite a step step stable. So if we can get enough budget, the program will continue. Mm. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a very important because this is our government's effort uh, to attract uh, mm -hmm. uh, what, what they call high-end talent. And uh, I don't know what that means. Maybe everybody have to be at least 190 centimeter tall like myself. <laughs> and <laughs> how high is high-end? <laughs> no, it's, uh, uh, no it, it, seriously, it, they, the, the government is putting a lot of money into it and uh, they're serious about that. Yes. But I want to ask a question is that why should international students choose uh, da Yuan, Taoyuan High School over uh, any other uh, international schools or uh, private high schools uh, in Taipei or in Taoyuan. What are the benefits of coming to da Yuan? Uh Besides, we have uh, such a beautiful and talented instructor like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's an important thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I wanted to give you one of two reasons, and Karine, we can, can give us more reasons. 
I think one of the most reasons uh, that you choose our school is this is the traditional Taiwan public school. So if you want to experience Taiwan culture, that's, the, that's definitely the right place for you. And the tuition is extremely cheap. I think it's just <laughs> 40,000 or 45,000 dollars per semester. So it's quite cheap. So these this are two most important reasons for international students to choose our school to attend IB program. And any and other reasons, I think um, in private school, the only reason you, you need to start is to to attend the universities. But in our school, I think you can learn, you can have a lot of op opportunities to perform yourself. Yeah, that's my reasons. <laughs> I want to persuade right. you to choose our school. I, I, I do, I agree with Ching Yun on everything about <clears throat> the uh, choosing uh, Da Yuan IB program over mm -hmm. uh, international or private school, except for one thing. I don't think Da Yuan is cheap. I think that is affordable. <laughs> I don't want to call it cheap oh, yeah. because it's a very nice school, okay? There's nothing cheap about, <laughs> about that. But, yeah, but that. It's like extremely you. affordable. Uh, yeah, like she affordable. said, uh, it's only 45000 a semester, and uh, which is how much it costs you to register at TAS uh, just to sign up to fill out the form. Oh, so, yeah. and, uh, and also you get to meet with the a local uh very nice uh, high school students from Ta Taoyuan, and you get to experience the local culture firsthand. You know, I mean, Taoyuan is a Hakka area, so you get a wonderful mm -hmm. Hakka food and everything else comes with it. And uh, and they're going to have an aquarium built right next to the school, I heard. So it's something very exciting if you are into fishes, but not eating them, okay? Just watch them. <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and also, uh, so, uh, Karine, would you like to... Uh, Elaborate a little bit more about what the uh, uh, benefits are for international students. I mean, you you are international students. <laughs> you were. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, what do you think they should consider choosing a, a local public high school to do an IB program over attending an international uh, um, private high school? Uh -huh. I think from my perspective, I will focus more on how students feel about being in the public school. Um, we offer them relatively uh, more freedom and they will have freedom of choice in terms of their uh, courses. They can choose what, um, based on the IB program, they can choose uh, one subject from each group um, and they are allowed to do a lot more, I mean, uh, I think I think the teachers also are are also different because we don't uh, we don't want to push them or we don't want to force them to choose what we think are right to them for them. So uh, we'll help them to find their own way and find what they really want to do. So um, I think they can enjoy a better academic life and social life in our school. And um, also the budget problem is very, very important. I mean, it's affordable as a public school, but I think we are the cheapest IB school perhaps after, I mean, after we get authorized, we'll become the cheapest IB school. <laughs> yeah, because IB program mm, for maybe it's believed to be very expensive because we offer high quality education and we we give them a lot more than maybe more than they pay <laughs> yeah yeah so that's why i think this is very attractive right again affordable not cheap <laughs> <laughs> sorry cheap is not no, a very good no, word affordable no, i i i think both teachers are very humble <laughs> and then you know they are they, they have a good Hakka spirit, always thinking that, <laughs> oh, we have to be uh, prudent and save money and cheap. But no, it's, it's affordable. You know, I mean, if you're yeah. not going to find anything cheap, it's going to find it in the Hakka area. So <laughs> <laughs> this is the way to go. And so tell us a, a little bit more about uh, your your curriculum design, because I think Karine touched on that 
you have a much wider choice than a smaller school because after all, you are a 500 plus student school. So you can afford to offer a full range of courses, including both at a higher level, uh, uh, higher level and the standard level. And so tell us about what the, 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 the courses line up is going to be. Mm -hmm. Either Karin or, 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 or Qingyun. Karin, would you like to be first? Yeah. Uh, for, oh, are you going to talk about the DP1 and DP2? Uh, yeah, I, as DP1. I mentioned I before. We talked about pre IB already. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the IB program is a two year program. So basically, it's DP1 and DP2. But in the following semester, we are going to do pre, pre IB. And we offer courses according to the IB guide. We offer um, different courses for each group. You can see um, on the top, uh, the column, we'll have six groups, uh, studies in language and literature. And the second group is language acquisition. The third group is individuals and societies. And the fourth group is sciences. The fifth group is mathematics. And the last one is the arts. And I also talked about the core subjects, which is on the right, the EE and TOK and CAS. Well, um, we also have one part. I, le I left one part because that's not yeah. in the uh, IB program. That's our school-based curriculum, which is uh, the second foreign languages. We offer four different choices uh, based on their own preferences, of course. So we offer Spanish, French, German, and Japanese and they are free to choose one based on their interests. And um, uh, for each group, students can choose one subject and the sixth group for the arts, they can ignore this group and choose one more uh, from group one, three, uh, one, three, four. Yeah. So they need to have six subjects in total and then adding uh, and also the core subjects which are required in the IB program and we also um, we also our students also need to choose, we need to take the school-based curriculum which is also a must in our school that's our yeah because that's the feature of our school the second language so basically they can uh, choose from two different levels each subject is offered um, two levels are offered. Uh, the standard level, we call it SL, and the higher level, which we call HL. Um, for different levels, we offer different hours of teaching, and the, the assessment requirements are different based on different levels. Yeah. And uh, so you can see, actually, we are trying to prepare students for the next for the coming DP1 and DP2 courses. So they are uh, extremely similar. And yeah, what, what's unique about this is just the second language program, which is not included in other IB programs. Yeah, I think, yes, that's it. And maybe we can, uh, maybe each year we'll make some uh, um, adjustments yes, or yeah. changes to this curriculum because of Maybe we have new teachers coming in, or we have uh, different student needs we need to cater to. So maybe we'll make changes to it. But I think for the next semester, we'll go with this schedule. Yeah. Um, what, I would like to be sorry to mm -hmm. everyone. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. I think in the chart, there's one mistake, uh, especially the DP1 and DP2. Uh, please see the, the third group. Uh, actually, we offer history, geography, and the business management. Yes. Yeah, sorry, that we, we should not just call it civics. Because in Taiwan, new curriculum, uh, in the individual societies, there's no specific subject called business management. We call it um, civics. So in pre-IB, actually, we teach them civics. The content is pretty similar with the civics. But in DP2, we need to follow the subject guide. So in IB, they don't have a civic subject. They do offer the business management. And actually, just like Karen said, if we recruit a new, new teacher or more teachers want to join in our, our IB community, we can offer more subjects. So actually, we can 
in the following years, we can offer psychology in group three, and maybe in the arts, we can offer music. So what do we offer? Does we, that's, those subjects, uh, we can offer those subjects, but based on the student's choice, so pre-IB, there's a very important function. We need to help students to find what do they want in the future. Uh, if they want to attend, be a physics, um, they want to attend and be an engineer, yet we need to help them to choose the right subjects for them. And when we know what kind of subjects are do, do our students need? We tried our best to, to offer these subjects. But I need to say, because we're a public school, we don't have enough, we, 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 I'm not sure we can have enough teachers. So if we cannot find enough teachers, I need to say sorry to students, but we will try our best to offer as many as, as, subject, as, as subject to students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it oh, sense? oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, uh, I think Qing Yun was being uh, very uh, humble and modest and uh, conservative and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, try, to, uh, uh, try to under promise and over deliver uh, with, uh, with the IB performers. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, uh, they are still a candidate school. and. Uh, and but I think they are they are very well prepared as a candidate school, and 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 I think it's, we 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 have a question. Uh, oh no, we have a, a comment from uh, Tony Esther, who says that uh, uh, she she went to a, a three program IB school. I guess that means uh, uh, MYP um, and uh, you know and the PYP, PYP. PYP MYP and, and IB IB. I, I, uh, uh, and DP. So mm -hmm. yeah, and then so and, and she has a master's in IB. Oh wow, okay. So we got a, a another IBer here in in the house. So yes, uh, <laughs> uh, Tony Esther, please feel free to join. Uh, you know, next time you're going to the airport, just leave a few hours earlier, swing by Da Yuan and say hi to us, and uh, or or take the high school <laughs> high speed rail, and uh, that's that's a very good. And I think this is a point that we would like to talk about uh, some of the most important thing, if not the uh, the most important thing is who can join this program. And uh, here we have a very dense <laughs> application. <laughs> uh, we only have 12 minutes left. So she is going to explain to us. <laughs> well, and actually, I, I Article 46 of Employment Service Act, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. What on earth are you talking about? So in general, that's the international professionals. That's all. But there yeah. are a lot of right. different details. But you need to yes. be, uh, the parents need to be international professionals they, yeah they need to have the arc and they yes. need to um have a job in taiwan <laughs> the high-end jobs oh, maybe a job or a steady job oh. in, in taiwan. our company our oh, company yeah. yeah you're right so if i yeah. work as a as a, as a like a, 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 a baseball coach at the uh rakuten uh in Taoyuan, <laughs> Uh, would I still be able to send my kids to 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 you? Yeah, look at number four, sports mm, yes. coach and athlete. The athlete. You're in. <laughs> oh, great! Thank you. See, there we go. Right next door is in our local high school. We'll take my yeah. kid for yeah. near forty-five thousand NT a, a semester. <laughs> And uh, right, so if we look a bit further, and then uh, let's see what else. So, so first thing is that you need to be uh, follow this. Uh, uh, parents, it's interesting. Parents are the most important factor, not the kids. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether your kids have a have a foreign passport or not. Uh, this is not a private international school. We don't look at. I mean, they don't look look at your kids' passport status. But more important is what the parents have, whether the parents are uh, have an ARC in Taiwan, 
and yes. uh, uh, professional. So mm -hmm. after that, and if you don't understand all this, doesn't matter, just give them a call. Here's a phone number on top of it. And uh, that's 03-381-311-0001. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. You don't call it now, nobody will be there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But please call. Yeah. When should they? When can they call? Uh, during the working hours. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So from nine to five during the working hour, and that's yeah. UTC plus eight. Okay. So please don't call at the West Coast. Uh, <laughs> eight to eight to nine. You know, nobody's going to answer the call at that hour. Now let's look at the. Uh, okay. So what's the most important thing is the application deadline. Uh, right. So yes, the deadline is on Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. Mm. <laughs> I, actually, I have already asked uh, both to extend the, the period, but I did not get the answer until now. But I would let you know, you can go to our website. I would mm -hmm. let you know if we change the schedule. Yeah, to okay. go to our right. school's website. Right. So yeah, I'm interviewing uh, uh, Ching Yun's boss tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. at <laughs> yes. National Education yeah. Radio. So I'll ask him again. <laughs> and, uh, Good. So, so for those of you who joined the, 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 our live stream today, you know, your luck, you know, you know before 12 hours before everybody else that <laughs> there's extension of deadline. So start preparing your application right away. And, uh, so now, what uh, their admission interview? Mm, what does that mean? Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, just a very casual interview with the parent because we need to make sure the parents are understand what we are doing and they know what to expect in the following semester because we are not providing a normal uh, curriculum in, in our school yes. for this class. So we want to make sure they know about that and they, they agree with our um, philosophy school philosophy program okay. yeah and um the applicant interview is just because we, we most of the courses will be taught in english so we would need to make sure the students will have a certain command of english they need to understand what the teacher is talking about so we want to see if they are prepared or they are kind of qualified for this yeah so um, actually, it's very simple. It's not very normal. I mean, for, for, for this year yeah. because we have the COVID nineteen and yeah, things got yeah, things happened. <laughs> A bit and late, yes. Yeah. Yes. And so the so basically there will be two parts. One is the parents' interview. The parents' interview mm -hmm. will be conducted either in English or, or Mandarin, and mm -hmm. to basically to uh, to help uh, to help the the school understand whether the parents understand. Uh, yes what the the value of uh, international baccalaureate and uh, and the mm -hmm. also the, uh, the the school's mission and uh, so so there's a, a, a so the, so everyone's uh, uh, interest is, is in line and also to interview the students to to get a feeling about their english ability uh, so if the student can understand today's uh, live stream they, they have a good chance of understand what the questions is going to be about yeah exactly uh, good 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 okay so now enrollment so after you pass you you submit the application and you pass and uh, what else do you need to do well just just be there i mean on the <laughs> enrollment day <laughs> and with all the certificates with all the documents with you because we need to check um with the copies yeah we need to double check and confirm they are real <laughs> and that's it um, yeah we'll give them actually, some documents. yeah yeah we will inform you with the following schedules because yeah. in august uh, we will invite you to come to school to experience the second foreign language courses and mm -hmm. choose one to be your second foreign language course in the following semester and actually they need to follow some regulations with our no more students so we need to make sure they know the regulations and they need to wear the uniforms so something like that uh, so after they are uh, when they sure they can enroll in our school there are a bunch of things need to do in august so we need to invite him or 
her or their parents to our school to inform them such of th those 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 things. Yeah, and feel right. some. So forms. basically, mm -hmm. there is an orientation uh, for, for yes, students thank and you. parents uh, mm -hmm. to to come in August and. Uh, to get uh, to understand what's going on, because after all, it's a public high school, and there are certain norms that you need to be followed. Uh, uh, like you have to salute to the teachers <laughs> and the, the shout, and every time you enter the class or, or stand up, and uh, whenever a teacher passes, you know you don't. Don't go. scare I, them. <laughs> I was there, and they were like very casual. I mean, the kids and the teachers are just good buddies, and they they love each other. So don't worry about it. Yeah. So really here, funny. there's a, and this is application form. I must say, this is one of the shortest application form I ever seen in my life to apply to any <laughs> academic institutions. I mean. For those of you who were in Hong Kong before, the kindergarten application form is about <laughs> 10 times longer than this one. Why did they ask? Singapore is the same. I don't know about Macau, but, uh, <laughs> but this is one of the shortest I ever seen. So here's a, you just fill in your basic personal data on page one, and then you check some boxes about your visa status, and then you sign at the bottom and including some photo and that's it. Right? I mean, yeah. that's it, really? Two pages? That's all? Yeah. Nothing yeah. else? Yes. Just, yeah. just no that. transcript, no transcript, no exam test, no Guozhong Hui Kao exam, no SAT. No, 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 no. No TOEFL, no GMAT. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, very straightforward, very simple, very easy. And uh, uh, do we have any more questions? People are very shy and nobody's asking me what's <laughs> happening. So we're going to finish this thing in about one minute and 30 seconds. If you don't ask any question, this is the last chance you're going to ask directly the, to the teachers yeah. who are going to decide the fate of your children. You know, you should <laughs> seize the chance and ask a question as much as you possibly can. And uh, yeah, so... and. Let's see what uh, let's talk about uh, what your expectations are, two of you. Um, what do you expect in the first year of the, the pre IB international class? Uh, because what do you think is going to be happening? Uh, what are mm -hmm. the uh, most likely outcomes do you think is going to be? Either one of you, mm -hmm. okay. Karine, maybe my go my first. expectation is um, very small. <laughs> well, I I think um, we can try to pave the way for um, the IB program. We are kind of experimenting. We are not sure what we are do doing actually, but we are trying our best to design what we think uh, is suitable or will suit uh, students' needs. And um, I would like to see how they uh, feel about this curriculum and we can make uh, we can grow together and that's what i want the most and i hope they can really enjoy their life here and they can um, also demonstrate their growth and their skills during the process and um, i think it's not about um, learning without efforts because learning takes effort but um, I think we can share the, the workload and we can grow together. Yeah, that's what I expect to see in the following semester. And I think our teachers are very good role models for them because <laughs> we are doing the same thing every day, I, working very hard. But I think um, all efforts are worth it and we'll see. Well, because success is not... Um, cannot be achieved only by the teachers or students. It takes uh, efforts for both. So yeah, let's see how it goes. But I have confidence, also fear, but confidence, yeah. Very good. And uh, how about Qingyu, what's your uh, expectation mm -hmm. for the this new incoming students? I have two expectations. One is for students, another for, is for our teachers. And you know, the end, the goal of the IB program is to cultivate the students to have 
those 10 learner profiles, uh, such as the open-minded, risk takers, or principals, or something like that. I hope we can really cultivate our students to be like that. And if we can, we see the students have this kind of potential, I hope we, the students can persuade our teachers to trust students, students, give them space, give them freedom, give them trust. They can really be the best persons. We don't need to team a lot of, we just give them and trust them. I think they can grow to be a better or even ideal person in the future. Also, uh, another expectation for me, I hope our teachers can try to trust the student and change their teaching styles. And when everyone trusts the students, maybe we can change something in school. I mean, the, all the, the general system, not just for IB, for all the students. That's why I, my dream, I think this year will be very, very crucial for us because that's the first time for us. Not, I think most of most of people don't trust us. We can achieve some goals. So actually, we are stressful. But I think, yeah, we are learning. We should be act like IB students. We should have IB learner profiles. I, I mean, the teachers should be have learner profiles. Um, but I think the process is pressures for everyone. I think even we cannot achieve the the best goals, but I think in the process we can learn a lot, gain a lot from that. For me, for career, I think for everyone. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. And Xingyun, you have a fun, uh, one of the messages that I love, Xingyun. So uh, <laughs> very, <laughs> nice of, very nice of our audience uh, too. And Let me see, that's also... maybe my husband. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who just joined the, uh, uh, our tonight's the live stream and program, and uh, uh, I spoke to, with the two uh, wonderful teachers from uh, Taoyuan Dayuan International Senior High School and uh, Qingyun and uh, Karin, and uh, both of them will be heading up. Uh, the uh, new international class uh, for the uh, 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 overseas uh, um, well, high-end talent as we call them and uh, so if you are if you are interested uh, please visit the website or please uh, call, call me number and yeah just call <laughs> just call me and, uh, and 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 find out more about it I'm going to put the URL in in at the end and also I, I would like to thank all of you stay on this program tonight. And then, the, and of course, most important, I want to thank my sponsors whose name is coming up at the bottom of the screen. And uh, <laughs> I thank them for contributing. And if you like today's program, please share, like, and follow our channel. And, uh, and, and last but not least, I want to thank all the teachers at the uh, Taoyuan, uh, uh, Taoyuan High School. Uh, for hosting my, my, uh, my Yash and I yesterday, and no, sorry, also Monday. Ah, yeah. And uh, that's my. Oh yeah, it was yesterday. Today's Tuesday. My God, things fly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, and, yes, and, and, oh, yeah. and 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 they, you know, everything everything happened at very fast speed, and uh, yes. we. Uh, we, we arranged this uh, interview last night uh, about 10 o'clock at night and, uh, and now we're doing it. And I think this shows the determination and the readiness of the team at the Taoyuan Taoyuan High School that they are ready for any challenges. And uh, I hope your kids will not be one of the challenges that they have to, they, I, I, they hope to see your kids, but hope they will not be the challenge. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So thank you very much for, for, for joining us today. And let's see if we got any questions. Usually at this last minute, people start throwing questions at us. And, uh, oh, <laughs> Xiao Zhang. Uh, thank you, Julian. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's so much fun. Yeah, Julian, watch it. I'm going to toast you, roast you tomorrow on the radio. <laughs> so, okay. So, take care, everybody. And thank you, Qingyun. And thank you, Karin, for coming thank to you. our show tonight. And uh, I hope, I wish the oh, best of the luck. And I wish there are so many applicants that they're going to queue in all the way to the HSR station from your, your school right <laughs> during the exam. And good luck to all of you who apply. 
Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye Thank you. Thanks for the interview. Bye. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. <laughs>